Welcome to the Celtic Republic in the Road to 56. So where we left where we left off, we have most of our small arms factories built, but we're short on on factories for planes, trucks, trains, and we need a lot and we need way more more light cruisers. Let's see now. Redesigning small arms so I can get an extra factory. Now I actually have a decent Ooh, this will be handy. So once I get that I'll get that focus redesign small arms. I was doing it so I could go down here and get get a few other things, but once I've completed it, I'm actually gonna double over here to industrial boom. None of these are from trade, they're all things I own. Once I get that, I get, again, I can probably just get some factories, make sure that trains are, and supply hubs are cheaper or quicker. Ooh, now that is good because supply hubs are ludicrously expensive. And this is a reduction, I think, from the base game where they're around 20, nice round 20,000. Of course, the thing we are really short of is oil. You can see we are very short of fuel. So once I've got this improved light tank chassis, I'll probably double back here and get this because we we do have some of our own oil. This um excavation three helps with with that as well, but there are going to be limits to what we can do. One of our spies got caught, and now he's back in the field. Gonna move you over to Berlin. I'm also trying to save up my political power to get expanded departments and then possibly at some point change Horatio Green to Francois Taldir Yafrano, a member of the Bardic Circles. Actually, he is quite cheap now, so I could just sw switch him over. But maybe not. We currently are at base at early mobilization, which hopeful. But we sit, we're still trading away for oil, for oil, and that is a bit of a pain. Yeah, these are not great for scouting because they have high surface visibility. But so what? It'll do. Good thing about this is it'll reduce our consumer goods factor even further for a year. And well, the base stability is not really that important. I do also want to save some power to go to a war economy once the war breaks out because we're going to be getting there very, very quickly. Let's see now. These infantry brigades are going straight over to Brittany to lend some, try and hold the forts down here. Basically, I play defensively a lot, and forts were, that we ha already have here, the fact that this is a, an urban environment which is going to be even on one side of a river, so San Nazaire is, go is almost certainly going to fall to the Germans. Say 99.99999999% or perhaps it should be 99999. <laughs> Shouldn't find that as funny as I do. I do speak some German, but I'm very rusty. Is there anything? Nope. There's nothing I can really get really get from the there's no new unique unit display units I can use there. Same, but there you go. So I am going to swap this guy out for our nationalist symbol once I've got these two, this binary and this factory. In fact, I'll, put, I'll push those two up because I can probably use that to build this quicker afterwards. 
There's not much I can do here. Perhaps this extra one. I need infantry equipment. Basically, we need as much stuff that will let us just hold the line here. You know what? I'm going to club piece out this industrial boom tree to get. Bonus for electronics is nice, but this, the extra research slot, it's not be handy. After that, I'm going to go down here for, for the extra infrastructure so I can unlock this. Next, our aluminium mill. We really do need that. And then these would be nice to get afterwards. Extra oil and fuel in our own territory. Because there is a chance that Brittany won't hold. It won't be from any lack of a lack of efforts on my part. But there is but there's a chance that, it, that it'll happen. So I'll put this. These old cruisers here with the like we have we have a lot of ships, we just don't have nearly enough fuel to support them all. Most of them are just gonna be sitting in board doing nothing. Oh, things are gonna start hotting up soon. I'm actually not even gonna bother wasting the time in fuel training up these recon glass because they are said to do not engage. I Meaning they are just I mean this is their design. They are pure speed. Nothing else. Yep, things have start have started. Anything I could add? These over, so we have a full army down in Britain, and upgrade them as well, so they for a better time. Go to Stenmark 2, maybe not. What we need is. to see retention. I always go down, always go down this path because 10% factory output is not to be sneezed at. That means we need less factory. I think I'll just go with this one. I like I do. Five days to get bonuses and then let's time time start going to partial mobilization. Well, the Afghan government has withdrawn from the, from the London Naval Treaty. They don't even have a navy. What the hell? <laughs> I have no idea what that was about. Uh, should I got this earlier because Artillery is the single best thing we can call the Germans. Denmark has joined the Allies. They actually... Probably because they know the Germans are going to start pushing at them. It was... France actually... That's actually pushed into Ireland. That's unexpected. Poland fell, that's not a surprise. Well, that's not a surprise that Denmark actually fell, but it took them a bit longer than usual. Hmm. Which means Operation Visa Ruben will probably be... Well, that's... Unexpected. Strange news out of Washington this morning as a Danish diplomat by the name of Heinrich Kaufmann has signed and handed over control of debt Greenland to the United States of America. Observers have stated concerns that the deal is legally dubious in regards to international law, though such concerns have fallen on deaf ears. 
as the American government was quick to sign the agreement. Hmm. Bold move on America's part. This morning I had the uh, historical AIs turned on. So it looks like France is kind of holding down the Alps. Guys have pushed up one, one pro up into Annecy, but they're put by the German. They're starting to push north of Serbrokin. Serbrokin. Germans are pushing into Egypt. It's kind of a weird thing. So, pricing up with our Captain Vindustry with this Breton guy, because he provides extra stability, extra war support, and attack and defense on core territory. And, more importantly, this is a core state, which means we're going to have extra attack and defense down here. Never had enough of that. Right, electric. Mix. Probably gonna go with these so we can but so I can start buffing up radar, add more radar onto our patrol cruisers as well. That's unexpected. Finland has accepted Soviet demands. I actually can't remember if I set historical well, AI on or not. That doesn't say if I didn't make any difference there, so maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I have no clue. Where? Yep. This part is pretty much on schedule. How are the French going to attack this? Handle this? We could give them really not sure we're going to be able to hold for very long. Plus, this because it'll buff up our air and. I have to say, start designing self-propelled anti-air to add to some of our, to our, I'm calling this the armored infantry. It's kind of a very crappy space marine division. Maybe I should, see if I, what happens if I try adding these on. So we lose a, some organization, some HP. This isn't great. But yeah, I'm going to leave that as is. So basically, this will provide some armor against, against tanks and light anti-air. Of course, I do, need, I do need these first. Not much I can do yet. I'm at war, so I can't get extensive prescription yet. Or war economy. I'm basically just saving my political power to get that. France has capitulated. Though Luxembourg hasn't. Nor is Nancy. This little bit here in the north of Bess. You know? That matter, they managed to take Olbia and Sassari. So for how long? Does Nancy have anything? Luxembourg has fallen. I 
I'm not getting involved until we until we have these forts built up. Next. Get this just so I can so I can actually get some of the some of these things. Like I still get the home cars. These things don't take long to build and they're just worth having. I also want to have my have my spies ready to build up a network around here. It's all very well and good knowing what's going on in Berlin, but germs are right at our front door now. So yeah, adding a single having twenty having twenty armor means that this brigade, if I do add that support anti here, wouldn't be able to pierce an enemy one. Basically, if our armor exceeds their piercing, they can't do full damage to us. I think they do 50% damage only, which is going to help. The problem is, I need tanks self-propelled anti-air. And I don't have any. Maybe I should scale back some things, or... Actually, I'll just juggle around all of these factories. Just factories else okay so sweden latvia estonia lithuania iceland are all part of the northern defense in front oh and finland as well so they obviously realized they couldn't stand against the soviets so they're banding up against them norway's already in the allies so does this mean that England is going to end up going to war with Iceland if they follow the historical path? I have no idea. I did not expect this game to go this way thus far. I never did actually get this women army service thing. It'll give us some extra recruitable population. And if we go down here, we get that as well. So we go to limited rights, which would probably lower our recruitable population. Which I'm not going to, so I'm not going to do that now because I've already gone for a total equality. So the USSR has declared war on Estonia, which means Finland, Latvia, all the Baltic nations, Sweden and Finland are now at war with the USSR. This has probably gone a bit off the rails. Submarine operations try and make our subs a little bit better. Uh, and now England has declared war on Iceland, which means they're at war with the Northern Defence Front. I mean, this has gone off the rails already. I really didn't expect this. You know, I said I was going to try and hold the light in here in Brittany against the Germans. I'm already starting to wonder if maybe I should just uh, try and take Cornwall and the, and the Isle of Man. Well, that's... Finland has capitulated. It means the Soviets... Aren't we going to waste a lot of... um? Just... Oh, England is pushing into Sweden. Which means the Germans are probably going to start pushing into Sweden as well. Which side do I dislike more? Well, I think it's time I joined a faction. There goes nothing.
things first. Once we have enough factories. Oops. By rating, get to work. These guys hold Orkneys and Scottish Highlands. Let's look at a few more. Now we've just gone to low manpower, but we are mobilizing. It's like a while to do that. Four, four enemy submarines to all of these, plus some naval patrol bombers. Our naval patrol bombers, such as we have. We basically control this, all the seas ar around our lands, which I could really do. Ugh, this Put one of you on. Hmm, we're not trading very favorably there. This is even with... We do have air superiority, though our planes are not great. Yeah, I let them push in there because there was no way we were going to hold that. Now we hold. Enough for another vision. Nope. Think it wants to buy convoys? Yes. We need fuel, though. Do you spare any? Give us the raw oil, we'll do the rest. The whole of Stockholm. Some of these I am going to convert to a full division. We do need a lot more artillery and equipment and stuff, but we have that. Empire is what we're kind of short of, but... Well, we lost one destroyer against all this. That's, and it's an old destroyer that was probably out of date anyway. Like, in evil terms, I think we're actually trading relatively well. We don't have the air, have the air cover, cover air power. Just don't have enough. The thing or planes. But these guys on naval agent support, which I probably should have done ages ago. Yeah, 
we don't have air superiority, but we have the intel advantage. We have a force. And they're pushing into a town across terrain. Across a uh, river. And of course, we're out of school again. I don't think they can actually they can actually push into Nats. But just in case, I am gonna build up a few more forts here. Probably not gonna happen in a while, but yep. They should have managed to stabilize this part. They've also managed to push into Ethiopia. But pushing into Sweden hasn't gone so well. Is there anything here that isn't a victory? This, because we didn't sink anything. I oh, what? Put them off. Well, there goes Iceland's navy. So we have lost 318 to the German Reich. What have they lost to us? Not enough to be significant, but... They, they just cannot put... They just can't push in here all that well. We're losing a lot of planes into our, our navy as well, so we have that going. These are all victories, don't care. It's a pretty significant change. Ooh, we lost one old destroyer and one Blackburn Shark against this. Honestly, that's a decent trade. Yeah, Channel Islands are, they fell to the Italians who are holding them and be a bit of a thorn on our side, but... We can really do about that. So this gentleman now is an infantry expert. Of course, like, done with Ambusher because he's digging in, but the expert is just too good to pass it. And he's an urban assault specialist. An expert at fighting in someone's house and causing havoc in people's streets. Let's see now. Next time he gets a chat um, skill, I'll probably go with Improvisation Expert because... Makeshift bridges and the movement bonus on lands, they're too good to pass up. So I think I'm going to leave it here for, the, for now. We're basically just holding down here and they simply cannot push into Nant. We have forts here, 
it's an urban environment, so they have an, a further attack penalty. The one thing the Germans do have in their favor is the massive air superiority over us. Oh, and they've got plenty of planned naval invasions, but what are they going to do about those? Orkney, the Scottish Islands, Leinster. Need a lot more, a lot more infantry for this, but I'm, I am cranking them out and we are mobilizing our population. It's just going to take some time. But anyway, that's going to be it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.